Welcome to Fonts Learn. In this video, I'll show you how to validate user input using the Data Annotation Validator attributes in C-Sharp Windows Forms application. Open your Visual Studio, then create a new Windows Forms application project. Next, right-click on your project, then add a reference to the System Component Model Data Annotations Library. We'll create a customer class with some properties to practice how to use the data annotation validator attributes to perform validation in a Windows Forms application. The advantage of using the data annotation validators is that they enable you to perform validation simply by adding one or more attributes, such as a required, range, regular expression or string length attribute to a class property. The required attribute enables you to mark a property as required. The range attribute enables you to validate whether the value of a property falls between a specified range of values. Next, rebuild your project, then add a data source to your form. You can design a simple UI that allows you to enter customer information. The Validation Context class describes the type or member on which validation is performed. 
It also enables custom validation to be added through any service that implements the service provider interface. The Validation Result class represents a container for the results of a validation request. As you can see, we can easily validate user input using the data annotation validator attributes. The regular expression attribute enables you to validate whether the value of a property matches a specified regular expression pattern. This is the easiest way to validate first name and last name. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.